get it, 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 get it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, found me on the Explore page, found me on Instagram, and decided to click on my stuff. My name is Elle. Thank you so much for joining. I'm gonna be honest with y'all here. I did a little bit of a clickbait and switch type situation. These are the final days for just a little bit of a disclaimer. At this point in my life, I am fueled by becoming debt free. I have student loans, I have a car note, and right now I'm going through like a mild obsession with getting rid of that debt out of my life and one of the ways that i can do that is by creating natural hair content and content on youtube in general now these this video is not sponsored i don't have any sponsored or planned videos coming up with any brands at the moment um, what i am saying is that i'm going to do my best to create more content if you're seeing these videos if you have found me through however you did just be sure to share and just watch. It's really so that I can start using some of this ad revenue from these videos to pay down my student loan debt. I am not looking to make YouTube a full-time job. I have a full-time job. This is a way that I can expand my income so that I can pay off debt because that is the girl. Your girl wants to be debt free, okay? so. These are the final days for my natural virgin hair. Yes, I'm getting my hair colored for the first time in 30 years of life. I have never had my hair colored. I have gone through so many journeys with my hair. It started with being um, heat damaged and just heat trained hair to natural, which was in college. And then once I got the hang of the natural hair things and my curl actually showed up and showed out, my hair grew to about tailbone length. And that's when I first started my whole platform, Curls Unbothered, started because I had reached tailbone length and I was posting about it on Instagram and people just thought that I had like some secret or they had no idea how this brown girl could have grown hair that long. And then I had long hair for a while. I cut my hair in between a couple of times to shorter lengths and then my hair grew back to waist length. And at that point, which was two and a half years ago, I decided I'm done with this. I won't cut my hair, girl. I'm cutting my hair for a number of different reasons and that video will be linked up above and down below in case you wanna know the specific reasons why. But just know she cut her hair I had it cut into a taper and wanted to make sure that the stylist knew that the top of my hair should reach the tip of my nose and the back could be however short. And the stylist who did my hair, Shada, killed it. She is bomb. Between when I got my hair cut by Shada and today I got my hair trimmed one time and that was literally about five or six, no, six or seven months ago when I got my hair trimmed. So I waited two full years before I got a trim or anything like that. I just went back to doing my usual routine. Now, let me give you guys my natural hair stats because if you are new here and you've never watched my videos, you probably don't know how I do what I do. So first and foremost, I wash my hair every two weeks. I deep condition my hair every single time that I wash and I always use some type of insulated or heating cap to make sure that my cuticles are open. I do one of two styles, literally one of two styles. Either I'm doing a wash and go, which is what you see today, or I do twists, which eventually turn into twist outs. I don't manipulate my hair anymore for the two weeks until it is time to wash my hair again. The only thing that I do at night, and I have a video that I will link as well that shows you how I put my hair in my bonnet at night so that I can keep the curls and the volume on both sides, so I will link that up above as well. So now that we got that out the way, let's do some comparisons from my hair uh, two and a half years ago until now. As I mentioned to you guys before, my hair at the top was to my nose and the hair in the back was like this. Like I could grab a piece, but there was no pulling it, there was no tugging it, there was no hang time, there was you couldn't check nothing, okay? It was just hair there. Um, so now I'm going to grab a piece in the front. When I got my hair cut, she had to take the hair from the top and pull it to my nose. So it didn't just hang like this to my nose, it had to be pulled. If I pull it, we are about 
here. So this is like, I don't know, the middle of my stomach. So the back, as I mentioned, had, there was nothing there. So now, pull a piece from the back and here is where we are from the back. We've had a lot of growth. We've had a lot of growth. Um, yeah, I can make a separate video on what I've done over the past two and a half years to keep my hair healthy, nourished, growing, flourishing, succeeding in life, you know, out here getting A's, 4.0s, all of that. If you guys are interested, leave a thumbs up or a comment down below and let me know. I am going to attempt to vlog as much as possible while I am at the salon so you guys can see the process and see what color I have chosen because girl, I've had this same hair my whole life and I love my hair. I like the color. I love how shiny and, and bouncy it looks, but I'm ready for a little bit of change, just something different. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. Thank you for understanding my inconsistencies. Thank you for understanding my possible consistency as I work toward paying down my debt. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or just wanna share a story with me, leave it down below also I don't know why I never say this it does not make any sense it is free 99 to subscribe so please subscribe you will be doing me a huge favor I would appreciate it I would think you were the bee's knees so you know just do it thanks okay bye